Hey, it's Ed Chris here today from Huckabones Equipment. Uh, in today's video, as you see behind me, we got a chopper for you. So what we're gonna do is do an overview of that chopper and then actually take it right out and try it. So that's why we have it hooked up to this M6141. First, we'll start off with the overview of the unit so you get an idea of what it is, uh, what a chopper is, and then we'll actually take it out and you'll see how it operates and whether it may or may not be for you. Um, so starting off with is uh, you always want to know what a chopper is. Um, chopper is a pretty simplistic piece of equipment. Uh, it's basically a nice round drum on there uh, that spins around with a bunch of teeth, spits out the material at the back. So basically it's in the name itself. It chops out the material and, and spits it out the back. There's going to be a, three main uses you're going to see it. Number one is lots of municipalities out there have them for doing your uh, roadside uh, maintenance and ditches and then after that you're going to see a number of farmers uh, use them for doing their field edges for before or after the crops have been removed you may also see some uh, not as fancy as this that just go directly behind the tractor doing the field work you know maybe you're going to be chopping up corn after it's been harvested or a wheat field or something just to knock down the stalks it's very heavy duty like that it replaces some of the uses you would have for a disc mower a disc mower is great for doing straight grass or vining material but nothing more than that whereas a chopper especially if you start getting up into heavier duty ones can up to a two inch material so really comes in handy whenever you're trying to move up there and you're not really sure what you're going to be getting into again you're not going to be out there with a measuring tape measuring two inches so uh, this is could be the, the unit for you Kubota makes a few different editions of choppers so you can either get a 2000 series 3000 or 4000 the biggest difference is in the 2000 series is it's going to be as you kind of see behind me a different measure different working widths and then the 3000 4000 either go off the front or off the rear but are more compact without uh, you know a hydraulics uh uh, offset kind of you know not this kind of design it's going to be more of a three-point hitch uh, implement uh, more look like more like a flail mower kind of idea how it's going to hook up again is uh, same as any rear implement it's going to be uh, on your on your PTO or how it's going to run it's going to be on your PTO most of them are 540 uh, whenever you get up to the very large ones for the for the front there uh, it will be a thousand PTO or either 540 or a thousand but uh, for these ones it is just 540. After that is uh, depending on what series what model you go through you're going to need certain amounts of horsepower obviously the bigger you get the more offset you get you're going to require more horsepower but the smallest one that you know the 1.5 meter you can go down to about 45 horsepower once you get up into this uh, you're going to be wanting a heavy set 100 horse uh, minimum 105 is what Kubota is uh, recommending on the PTO so again back here whenever you have the teeth is you got a nice roller a uh, nice big roller here. What's the roller for it? Uh, you know, just press this stuff down. Well, it's actually for depth control so that you can kind of control how deep you're going and how aggressive you want to get with those teeth. So uh, very important and it kind of stays, it's extremely heavy roller. So uh, it's going to do what you want and stay there no matter what conditions you are dealing with. So uh, that's kind of a quick overview of uh, the chopper lineup from Kubota. So uh, now let's skip to actually getting this out in the field and trying it out. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about the chopper as well as uh, some footage of it in action. Uh, it's always exciting to bring that to you with the GoPro and everything. You see the grass flying at you. Pretty awesome units. One thing I should point out is uh, Kubota, our, you know, the marketing departments all over, will show that chopper up on its end like this, cutting back uh, tree branches and stuff. It doesn't really work that well. So just be mindful of that if you're thinking that all oh, I can trim my trees back and stuff. It doesn't actually work that well uh, at doing it as the branches kind of fold out of the way and then pop back out. So mainly used for on the ground, does a wonderful job at that. Again, up to a two inch capacity, depending on what uh, blades you have under there. So if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe. If you have any comments, please down below. Thank you.